What's up guys, Justin here with The Fusion Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create an animation using objects inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we've got here is we've got just like a simple set of gears that I've modeled. Um, it's basically just some plates in here um, that's got some fasteners and then some gears on the inside. And what I wanna do is instead of creating a simulation, I wanna create an actual animation of these gears turning so something that I can like export a video of. So the first thing we want to do when we get all of this created is we want to jump over into our animation toolbar or workspace right here. All right, so we're in the animation tab and quite honestly, I can't tell if this is a tab that's available in the free version or not. Um, you're just gonna have to drop in there and try it and let me know. Um, but what this is gonna do is this is going to be our tab that's gonna allow us to create an animation. And so this is basically a tool that allows us to set up an animation down below um, of our objects. Okay, and so this basically has a tab at the top which allows us to do things with our storyboard. Our storyboard is going to be down below and it's where we're gonna be able to control our animations. But then we've also got options for different kinds of transforms that we can create, different annotations and callouts that we can add in here. So like text, um, this gives us the ability to record our view, which we'll talk about in a second. And we've got the ability to publish or create our video. And so over here, we've got the browser. And then down below, we've got our animation timeline. And so in this case, what we want to do is let's start by creating a view where our camera flies around this object. And so note that whenever this is toggled to record, what it's gonna do is it's going to save your camera location to whatever time you have selected in here. So let's say over the course of 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna click and drag this to 10 seconds right here, we want our camera to fly around our object. So maybe something like this. Well, notice how as I animate around, if I have that time set to 10, it's going to record our camera location right here. Now, one thing about this is at the moment, it didn't really pick a path that I liked. So it's got this animation in here, but it's kind of flying over this object, which is not something that I'm a fan of. So what I'm gonna do is five seconds in, I'm going to rotate this camera view down like this. And so now notice how I've got those two camera views right here. Well, what this did is this split this up so that we've set basically a new keyframe or a new camera location at five seconds. Well, now if I click on the play button right here, notice how this is gonna animate, but it's gonna animate to that point that we set like this. All right, so now we've got our camera kind of flying around like this. Well, now what I wanna do is I wanna animate some movement. And so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna animate the rotation of these gears. And so to do that, what we can do is we're going to take an object right here and we're gonna click on the option for transform components. And we're gonna select this component right here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna set this so that this transforms, uh, we'll call it 360 degrees over two seconds. So I'm gonna set my timeline to two seconds. And what I wanna do is I wanna set that rotation, which you can just kind of go into a front view right here, and you can just type in a value of 360 right here. That's gonna make this go in a full 360 degree rotation over two seconds. So if I click on play, see how this is going to rotate in 360 degrees in those seconds right there. Okay, so now we've got an animation that goes 360 degrees for two seconds. Now, one thing that I have not found in Fusion 360 um, is I have not found a way to repeat an animation, like to make this keep going over and over again. So assuming my video is going to be 10 seconds long, what I would want to do is I'm going to change the duration of this action. So you can actually double click on this and type in a value if you want. So for example, we could type in a value of 10 seconds right here, click on okay, like this. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna make this 10 seconds long. Well, remember though, that we set this to go 360 degrees. So that's gonna make our animation really slow. What I wanna do instead is I wanna right click on this and there's an option for edit action. And since this is going to be five times as long, I wanna type in a value of 360 times five. So that's gonna do five 360 degree rotations in 10 seconds. So now 
I click on play, note that this is going to keep animating the entire animation that we have going on in here. So we have one of these animating and we want the others to animate as well. And so now I want to do the same thing for this other object, right? But I want this one to go in the other direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on transform components. I'm going to click on this object right here. And I'm going to go ahead and move this to the 10 second mark. And in this case, I want this one to be negative 360 times five. We're going to click on OK. And so we want to go ahead and we want to click and drag this so that it's the entire duration for animation here. But then we're going to go back to our starting view or we're going to click on play. And so when we click on play, what that's going to do is that's going to set this animation up where both of these are turning as a part of that animation in here. Now, one thing that you might know is note that because I had the record view in here and I accidentally scrolled my mouse wheel, it actually changed my camera view. I don't necessarily want that, but I want to go ahead and I want to make this simpler anyway. So I'm just going to delete out all of these cameras right here. Now notice that because we're at the playhead, which is the start, our current camera view will set what that playhead is. Well, in this case, I'm just going to set it where my camera is just going to rotate around very simply to a location right here. And you can scroll your mouse wheel in or out in order to adjust that camera location. But now I've got this animation where these gears are turning like this, and you can see them turning inside of my scene right here, and my camera is rotating. And so the other thing I want to do is I want to add an animation showing these screws going through this object into whatever they're fastening to. So the way that I can do that is we're going to take all of these components and we can kind of click in here and find them. So in this case, it should be these four screws right here. And at the base or the start of the scene, I want to click and drag these up like this. So I've set the base transformation to be right here. Now, what I want to do is over the course of, we'll say two and a half seconds, I want these to go back into place. So I'm going to add another transformation. And at two and a half seconds, I want these to all be in place like this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on OK right here. Well, notice what that did is that created a movement for each one of these screws like this. You see them kind of falling into place like this. So that, while interesting, is a little bit boring. But remember that you can click and drag these like this. So I can click and drag this so that each one of these is going to fall into place after the next one. So now if I click on play, notice how we've got one moving, two moving, three moving, and four moving. And you could make these a little bit longer and have them overlap as well. That would probably be even more interesting. So something like this. And so then you've got this kind of like stair stepping motion in here where one of them starts moving in the middle of the movement of the other one right here. So you can use this in order to quickly create objects moving into place like this. Now, another way to go about this is you can, whoops. And one thing you might want to do once you've set your camera view up, by the way, is you might want to toggle this view recording off. All right, so now let's do the same thing with these fasteners up above. So we're just going to take them, and we're going to transform them down like this. So that's going to set our base transformation, right? So this is going to add those objects down below. But now, over the course of two and a half seconds, I want to add a transformation to those objects to put them back in place like this. So we're going to click on OK. So you can see how those are going to fly back in place. And then we'll just do the same thing again. So we're just going to click and drag right here, right here, and right here. And we'll add some overlap to these as well. Notice how I can kind of click and drag them to align them to the movements that are already on my timeline right here. Now, if I click play, 
I've got this animation where these screws go into place like this. So you can see those objects moving and you can also see your gears turning like this. So now that we have an animation that's basically doing what we want, we want to click on the option for publish video. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to export whatever storyboards we have in here. And by the way, a storyboard just allows you to set up multiple different animations. Um, but you can set things like your uh, export video size. So in this case, I might pick 1920 by 1080 like this. And then this is going to export this to a video and it's going to ask you where to save it. And so in this case, I'm actually going to save this to my computer. So you can check the box, find a folder. We're going to click on save and I'll go ahead and call this gears animation and we're going to click on save. And so this is going to take this and it's going to publish it to a video. And so it's got to generate basically all of those frames and then kind of stitch them together into a video, but we'll let it finish and then we'll take a look at our final result. And so this is show. And so this is showing us exactly the animation we created. We've got our gears turning and we've got the screws going into place just like this. So you can use this to animate those movements of your objects within Fusion 360. Now, one thing to note is if you do want to render this, you would have to do it differently. You would have to create this as a motion study. So you can't render the animations that you create in that sense. Um, that's more of a simulation type thing where it's simulating the joints and then rendering that. So if that is something you're interested in, leave a comment down below and I can make a video on that. So that's how you create animations in Fusion 360. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, anything like that. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.